Hello, welcome back to Minecraft Eternal on this Sunday, the 11th of October. God, we're flying into October now, aren't we? That's kind of uh, crept up on me. But, um, oh, I'm in a good mood this week um, because we got good news on the house we're buying. Just to fill you in while the map is loading and there's nothing else to do really. That we got we got the house. We Our bid was accepted. So we have some idea where we're going to be moving now. Well, actually, we know specifically where we're going to be moving now, barring any disasters. But that's, you know, it's good news to have um, today. Okay, here we are back at our base um under construction here is the sunglasses factory um oh yeah we, we're going to kill the butterflies that got inside um with my pathetic sword that cannot hurt a butterfly look at it these butterflies these are iron butterflies the the band iron butterfly was inspired by these things i think uh, get, get back here, you pest. There's three of them. I thought there was only two. They're breeding. There must have been some caterpillars in that wood or something. You know, they're just hatching out all over the place. Ah! Okay, maybe they'll despawn if I go away for long enough. We'll, we'll leave the butterflies. Hicklebulb, Lou, hello, welcome. How are you today? Um... <clears throat> Now, what was my next priority? I built the sunglasses factory. That was a big thing. Um, so, yeah, I think I have to build another story on it. I wanted to build an elevator for inside. And I think that was in my quest book. Um, did I have other quests? I was looking at science quests. Not advanced science, just the uh, regular old science. A jetpack, I wonder. Could we make a leadstone jetpack? We need lead flux capacitor I might be able to build a jetpack and then we need an energetic infuser to charge it should tonight be the jetpack stream I don't see why not let's give it a go let's see if we can make a jetpack um I need lead lots of lead do I have lead yeah I have a little bit I'm sure I have lead ore somewhere. Um, oh, yeah. Actually, I don't want to risk my lead getting uh, contaminated in the furnace for this. Because I need it pure. I need pure, uncut Colombian lead for this. So, um, I'm just going to throw it into here. And see what comes out. Hopefully, lots of ingots. It always looks like nighttime outside from in here. This is the one flaw of the sunglasses factory. Kando Kaz, hello, how are you? Welcome. Um, other than that, though. Ah! Yeah! Phew, got one. I think my, maybe it is nighttime now. Oh, yeah, it's sunset. It's 10 30, which means I can go asleep. So, I think. Yeah? Yeah. Shelly, hello, welcome. How are you? So, for those of you who weren't here a few minutes ago, we're building a jetpack. That's the next, um, my next goal. And we're going to have to build an energetic infuser to charge it, which I think we should be able to do. We basically need loads and loads of lead for this. And we've got a good bit. Leadstone thrusters. Okay, we need reactant dynamos. Yeah, we need probably more lead than I have. We might have to go mining. But sure, we'll see. What the hell is that? That's not a butterfly, is it? Oh, I think it is. It just, it looks like a weird sort of flying tesseract thing. Um... Right. Oh, actually, our lead. Yeah, well, I was going to get the lead from the smelter. Blah. Yeah, that was the plan. Take out this lead and build part one of our jetpack. Um, it's a leadstone jetpack. And let's build the flux capacitor. We need lead, copper, sulfur, and redstone, which we have. How much lead did we need for that again? Two. We've got two. Um... 
I think we have copper. We have copper. We definitely have sulfur and we need a bit of redstone. And now I think we can just, oh no, I need one more. And now I know we can just do uh, this. Okay, what's this thing? Leather strap, leather and iron. Okay, that's not too bad. Um, do we have leather? We do. We have iron, so. Oh, hang on, I'm in the wrong crafty thing. Wrong crafty dealy. Um, brilliant, okay, we're, this is going well. We're actually probably going to get a jetpack within just a few minutes. Some pine pollen. Is that a seed and vittle? No, I think that's... It's not wood. No, it's a seed and vittle, I will say. Um, right. Leadstone thrusters. We're going to need these things, these reactant dynamos. They're going to be hard, and we're going to need lead gears for those. So I'll start to work on those. Um, how much lead have we got? We've got five ingots left, so I don't know. We can build at least one gear. And have a little bit left over. Jetpacks do trump airships. It's going to be much handier to get around. I think as well, jetpacks are going to make the nether an awful lot easier. Because we won't have to worry about like falling into lava. We can just sort of fly over it. And um, fly out of range of all the uh, deadly monsters in there. It's just going to usher in a new age of prosperity here. And productiveness. We've, which, you know, I think we've managed to do in the last couple of uh, episodes. Especially since last week, everything has kind of been coming together much, uh, much better, I think. Silver. Okay, yeah, we need some silver for this. I'm going to go grind this up in the other machine. Once we got the electricity running, I think that was the uh, turning point. Oh, and we got some pulverized silver from that anyway, so that's pretty good. That must have been a byproduct of the lead, which is now all in here. 34 lead, 28 copper, a basalt, and 36 gold. And that damn butterfly! Ah! Oh, we got, we got him there. Oh. oh, Why did I make the ceiling so high? I should have started with lower ceilings so that we could kill the butterflies earlier. Is there only one left in here? I don't know where one of them went. I think he must have despawned or died of natural causes. I've heard butterflies only live like 24 hours. So I'm not sure if that's true. Oh, the butterflies drop pollen. So it's actually animal excrement. Of course they do, because pollen comes from bees. It's bee poo, isn't it? No, it's not. It's from flowers. I'm thinking of honey. Honey is bee poo. Um, and delicious as well uh, okay so yeah leadstone flux ducts I think we have reception coils we can make I'm going to need two gold for those and a bit of redstone um, our silver is all smelting up oh god so much silver Fantastic. I am like Long Connor Silver today. Um, yeah, we've got tons of wood we can just dump in here to free up the space for this. Because we've got a lot of crafting to do and the wood is getting in the way. Where's that pollen? Get out of here, you. We know where you belong. Um, right. I'll just get a pile of redstone because we're going to need a good bit. I only got two flux ducts. Oh no. Um, how do I? There we go. No, that's the wrong thing. I wanted. No, that's the recipe for redstone. The recipe for flux ducts. Glass, lead, redstone. Hmm. Don't have all of those things got some sand i can make some glass we're we're okay might even have some glass in one of these things i don't know 
No. This will get us a ton of flux ducts. Um, let's see. Yes. Yes. And. There we go. Well, six of them. It's, it's kind of a ton. It's not a metric ton or an imperial ton, but in some measuring system it is. Uh, I needed my silver for this. Which is fine. Um, let's see. Then I need two lead gears. I need four iron. I don't think I have any iron on me. Oh well. Oh wait, no. I have the. I have my gears. Don't need to go wasting stuff making them yet. Um, I definitely have iron somewhere. Didn't we make a ton of it last time? Probably used it then. Uh, no, there's like infinity iron in here. We are well set for iron. The only downside about this jetpack as opposed to the airship is I think we have to charge up the jetpack to use it and the airship seems to like fly infinitely but it's going to be a lot more um, maneuverable okay so we've got lots of iron um, I forget why I even needed the iron these recipes are so complicated okay have we got enough to make these brilliant okay we've got the two of those and now we need that. Okay, I th actually, I think we might have all these. There we go, two of those. Oh my God, we did it. That is like 12 minutes in, we've got a jetpack. And where do I equip this? Does it go into my armor slot? Oh wow, it's instead of a chest piece, I think. Which isn't great. Um, don't think it offers an awful lot of protection. And it's not even charged yet. So that's going to be trouble. But, you know, it's fine. We've done something. We've got a jetpack. We get a chainsaw as a reward and some money. And now we just have to build the charger for it. Okay, we're going to need more glass. Unless we have a machine frame already in the machine chest, which, no, we don't. Why would I? I, I always use the machine frames up immediately. They're far too useful. Um, what was that called? An energetic infuser. Yeah, that's the one. Oh, and we can, like, augment it uh, if we so desire. Okay, copper gears. Oh, we're going to need a lot of things. Um, we're going to need a couple of these. Oh, wrong way around, I think. Um, a gold one, which is fine. We're going to have to check up on Humphrey's construction project because... We haven't looked yet today, and um, I don't know. It's taking him absolutely years. Maybe that, I think that mod, the village one, is one you really need to focus your attention on, and I don't think I have been. But we will. We will get the village built and operational. There's a, you see, there's only one me, and there's an awful lot of villagers. So my attention is kind of strained a little bit by them okay we'll build a machine frame and we'll be ready to go with this charger imagine if we had that this jetpack when uh, that guy was trying to drag us into the other dimension it just wouldn't have happened it's just one of the many situations we're going to avoid Oh no, a tin gear. Oh, and my thingy's full. My inventory. Um, okay, we'll 
throw these in here. Do I have tin? I didn't need. Oh, I've got a ton of tin. Uh, yes. And now. All right, this thing. This thing. And we're good to go. I'll just throw some of my ingots in here. We don't need them. Vibranium alloy, I don't know what it does. It can go back in there. Um, we've got our leadstone flux ducts to wire this thing up. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Build our, put down our charger, hook it up to our power, and then we can uh, fly about as freely as jetpack owners anywhere. Um, yeah, let's, I'm going to put it over here for now. Oh, and there's an achievement for that as well. So we get a swarmer. I don't know what a swarmer does. Can I eat it? I can't eat it. Do I put it in water or something? I don't know. Maybe it's like one of those sponges that like inflates when you get it wet. You know, a sponge. I think pretty much all sponges do that. Okay, we'll turn off all the outputs and we'll stick this in. Does that work? Oh yeah, cool. It's charging up now. And it's not costing us any amount of power. So that's perfect. Let's see. Allows flight. Brilliant. And look, there's other jetpacks. We can get like armored jetpacks and stuff later on. But uh, I think this one is good enough for now. We'll just leave it uh, there to charge. Um, okay. I'm going to put this swarmer in one of the chests. I, I'm going to count it as an animal excrement because big fish eat little fish and then eventually poo them out. So, you know, that'll do. Uh, these doors can go in there. That wood can go in there. Is that wood? No, it's dirt. Okay, and we can decide... How the uh, sunglasses factory is going to progress. I don't think it needs to progress much yet, actually. We can kind of make do with what we have. Um, yeah, we could probably put on like an attic layer up here. Or we could make it even taller. I don't know. Like a couple of more stories. Maybe some chimneys, because it is a factory. Just make it look a little bit more industrial. I wish I hadn't built it so close to the road so we could fit in like a barbed wire fence here to keep out intruders. But, you know, you can't have everything. Um, we have to decide our next goal. That is going to take years to charge. Which means we can probably fly for years with it, which is fine with me. Um, okay. A thermoelectric generator sounds like it might be useful. Um... Oh, we were going down this path. Magmatic dynamos, compression dynamos, hardened flux ducts. Yeah, I think we were working our way down this thing. We made the igneous extruder. That's a magmatic dynamo. I think this is like a sort of lava-powered machine. Which we could build. And it's not that hard, actually. I think we've got pretty much everything for it. There's a compression dynamo, which looks quite similar. Um, hardened flux ducts. Yeah, we can do that as well. That's easy. And we can get energy cells. I think they're similar to the batteries we have, which would give us magmatic crystal crucibles and fluid transposers. I'm not sure we need those yet, though. Um... These animal things, I don't know what an animal sower does, but an animal grower and is, is going to be pretty handy. Resource fisher, block breaker, a lava fabricator. I'd like that to fabricate some lava for us. If we get infinite lava into buckets, then we can um, pump it over into our quarry and get infinite resources. 
What does the swarmer say when you hover over it? Oh, I don't know. I've actually put it away, so... I prob You probably sent that while I still had it, but uh, I wasn't paying attention, unfortunately. Um, if we had more blaze rods, we could make this lava thing. Fabricate all the lava we want, put it into buckets, automatically load our quarry. Just, you know, infinite um, quarry energy, which would be good. What's this? Industrial electrolyzer. Produce fluids and dusts from machines. Um, there's a lot of things. I think it might be good to get a proper like sorting system up for all our items here. I don't know if I can move these barrels now there's things in them. I'm going to try it on one of these. And see what happens. Um, oh, I can. It just picks up all the contents as well. I'm guessing they don't stack. No. But yeah, we're going to improve this sorting system. Um... I think it's we put it in and it's already been sort of made obsolete we're going to make a better one um what we need is an input box like this one this is our input box and we need an output box and we're going to build a big complicated machine in this factory and i think maybe the machine can actually come out the roof and make it look kind of cool we can have all sorts of machiney things up above to make it look sort of like a fancy factory thing which is what it is make this factory just look more factory like um, there we go so our big machine is going to go in the middle of the room um oh i'm carrying all kinds of crap I don't need this raw marble. Okay, so where is our chest? You're going to come in the factory door here and in front of you there will be boxes. There will be... I think maybe we'll just have an input box and then the... because the output is going to be like sorted everywhere. So the input box should be like the first thing you see. Maybe here. And I think we need a second chest for that. Um, I don't have the wood for it right now. I'll go get some. The idea here being we don't have to think about sorting our things anymore like we currently are. Because everything will just um, sort itself. sort of nice and orderly fashion oh my god they're different kinds of chests oak and birch, birch chests are different things okay well how can we handle this hmm. oh this one's full i can't really break it no i'm gonna do this is this is dangerous don't try this at home to just throw those down and count on them not despawning for a second. And uh, that one as well. My big barrels of stuff. <coughs> and I'm going to throw this down here and then we can... Oh no. Do I not have enough room? Oh, I forgot to put the things back in. That was it. Um, yeah. There we go. Okay, so this is the input for the machine. Um, we're going to make the machine out of some kind of cool stone or something. I'd love to make it out of iron blocks, to be honest. But um, I think that would be really expensive. Does this have factory blocks in it? Oh, it does. Okay, we could make it out of factory blocks. Which are made from stone and iron. And are a little bit cheaper than doing um, iron blocks.
And actually, I'll stack my barrels over here. Just, um, we can move them if we need to. I didn't mean to. Oh, no, I did. That is the cobblestone barrel. My mistake. We'll move them around later. Um, oh, it's sleepy time again. Well, I've got my bed here. I'm going to sleep in the factory for the next few days until we get this um, up and going. I'm just camping out in work, uh, which is kind of awful. I can't, oh, I don't have my iron with me. I'm going to need more of that. This machine is going to look really cool. I've got, well, I have a vague concept in my head. I'm in a bit of a designy mood. I've actually been drawing like um, pixel art and stuff uh, lately. So I'm, I'm back in like a creative phase. I think it's because that new version of RPG Maker came out and I'm just, I got the demo of it and I started sort of doodling artwork and stuff. I'm going to have to buy the full thing. I mean, I know I'm buying a house this month. My bank account is going to be completely cleared out very, very soon. So I probably can't afford to do, to get it right away. But I've got like a good few days left on the demo. Um, hopefully it'll go on sale by the end of that time. I miss when they didn't sell it over here, so you had to pirate it and you could feel okay about it. Okay, there's some exhaust plating, um, hexagonal plating. I think what we want is slightly rusty plate. Looks good. Okay, yeah, that's pretty nice. Um, actually... No, actually, it's going to be pumped out from where? It'll be pumped out from the back. So, yeah, I don't need to do that there. Or will that be too visible? I uh, It'll be visible, but I don't really care. Okay, so that's there. Um, we're going to have wooden transport pipe on here. We're going to have our redstone engine here. So you can kind of get a hint of the machinery behind from here, but it's not going to be super obvious. Um, and we're going to put a redstone torch maybe underneath that. Where's my pickaxe? Oops. So. Yeah, that should start doing the old uh, pumpy pump and take everything out. And then, yeah, the bed won't be here long term. That's just uh, temporary. And then I think we're going to bring it back around this way. I'll just make sure I have torches around to light up this place for now. And similar on this side. So, yeah. Now, the barrels will have to be somewhere. Um, and we might have a similar system to what we have now. So maybe the barrels can go in here. Um, I need my axe to pick these up. Okay, cobblestone barrel can go here. Cobblestone's going to be very, like, plentiful. And dirt barrel as well go next to it and what I need to do is I get my diamond transport pipe over here which is the sorting one and get I guess cobblestone transport pipe to go up here and over I suppose I need another diamond one. This is going to be an expensive system, but I think it's it'll be nice. 
we won't need anything as fancy as the diamond ones like down the line but for now we are going to have to use them so then this will go down into cobblestone so now i need one piece of cobblestone i've got eight so that's fine so cobblestone definitely goes the red way and then here it goes the green way and gets popped into this thing and dirt does the same uh, i've got a bit of dirt so dirt goes red that didn't take dirt goes red and then dirt will go green over here and i can't use a cobblestone pipe here because it'll join up with this one so what i have to do is make myself a regular stone pipe oh yeah i love doing pixel art um basically i had i've been doing um I've been redoing characters that I did when I was a teenager because I have this thing where there's like two RPG Maker games I started as a teenager and never finished. And I it's I always have this instinct in me to restart them or to, you know, start them again or finish them off eventually sometime. And I think that's, you know, the instinct that's kind of kicking in with me. Um the re why these two in particular i'm not completely sure i think they're probably ones that i didn't finish not because i was lazy but because um you know of other disasters like um say computer failures and things um like i know i lost a lot of work i, I lost an entire game because um i accidentally crashed our computer I tried to get a something to run in dos mode this was a windows 98 machine and um for whatever reason, the computer did not like me trying to run DOS mode. And instead of just running in DOS mode once, it just seemed to delete Windows and run in DOS forever. And, well, that's how I lost <laughs> lost that game. We had to, we actually had to call out a repairman as well, because it turned out our Windows install floppy, yeah, it was a floppy disk, didn't even, like, work so uh we couldn't use it to restore the computer to factory settings big disaster um but there was a game i'd been working on for a few months that um i lost and i since got back a really early copy of it like it was far too early like i couldn't resume from it because, well i suppose i could have but i didn't have the spirit in it didn't have it in me to continue from it one of my friends i'd given an early demo of it on floppy disk that he had kept um but yeah it was gone and then years later i tried to remake it and i well i think that time i went to college and uh got a laptop so i didn't use my parents computer anymore so you know i didn't really have it with me um and then their computer broke so yeah, lot, lots of things conspired against me. But I'll always, I always want to come back to these things. Which marble is this? Is that this marble? No, it's uh, this marble. Okay, so I need one of these. And this marble comes out. The green thing here. And it goes red here. It should be oh no i did i put the redstone torch in yet i did so why isn't that pumping let's see let's see what happens if i put the this marble in there oh yeah it works it pumps out comes along this machine over here and it should go oh god i never actually finished connecting the pipe well it should spit out here and then we can uh finish that later i didn't i forgot i uh didn't have enough pipes to do that yes yeah, that's good enough um we're going to need some glass to make more pipes there is going to be a lot of pipe work involved in this um so if you like pipes then this is your stream we're gonna have this one here as well 
and uh, what marble is this this marble okay it's annoying that there's so many kinds of marble but uh, you know what can you do really and yeah this one goes the green way here and we're going to use these pipes here So yeah, and we've got room for our other marble barrel here and then maybe a limestone barrel because I think limestone is another thing we're going to have to deal with. Another sort of junk element we're going to have to sort out of this. Um, but we're doing well. So I suppose I should just... Um, hang on. Yeah, I think I can just do this. It'll go right up to that wall um, with those sorting my bobs. I don't know what to do with this thing, actually. I'm not sure I can um, automate it. Well, okay, no, we'll leave a passage here to get to the big furnace. That's okay. We're going to have to move some of these machines into this thing as well. Um... But yeah, that should be okay. So I need my glass. That's what I was waiting on. Um, lots of glass. Make myself some more pipes. And yeah, I'll just, I don't know. I can get rid of these barrels for now. These ones are all empty. I think... Oh, and they stack. I think we can just, like, pile them up over here for future use. Like, we don't need them now. Uh, this one, I think, was another... The other marble? Yeah. Okay. So give me one of those. Oh, I need another diamond pipe. And I need to get rid of all this marble. It's very confusing having so many blocks of such different marble. Uh, so this is the one. The last one. It's the only marble block we have. Um, I think I have diamond pipes back in the house. In here? Yes. I have a few. Not many. But uh, enough for this. So, yeah. I'm going to have this one here. And... Oh, so we have two of this kind of marble, apparently. Okay, it sorts out there. Over here, it comes out the green end. And we're on to cobble again for this one. So now, all of them should go in there and it should be fine. I think I can go get some limestone from the quarry for the very last one. be good to if we could set up the quarry to actually pump into this that would be amazing like some sort of transport system so we're not wasting things anymore oh did you do much writing in your teen years kando kaz i wrote um i did write like this when i was like 16 or so in school i wrote this like sort of Star Wars parody thing starring all my friends and um, that got pretty popular I we were I, we were in business studies class doing like the IT module and um, I kind of knew all the stuff and got it done really quickly so I just when I was finished my work I just opened up Microsoft Word and typed up this story initially to make friend to make sort of make a make fun of my best friend who was like also into star wars and it was like a star wars like story starring him but um sort of loving parody or whatever but then oh yeah we've got some limestone did we actually dig any up no but um yeah it uh, took on a mind of its own then because 
other people read it and they were asking me to like include them in the next one and stuff i think i wrote like five or six of them like they were only about two pages long each but it felt very epic at the time okay so limestone is our last barrel i love reading things that you know you wrote as a teenager they're you know just in general teenage writing is just so i don't know it's so bad but so good as well I, I think you kind of there's a certain amount of um artistic purity or something you, you don't really censor yourself the way you do when you grow up um like actually that's one thing i've been meaning to do i mentioned um last week that you know i'd like to play some rpg maker games on stream and maybe do a few reviews or something or not even on stream just sort of uh, on the youtube channel but um i'd love to play my old teenagery ones just to give them a kind of audience that uh, they never had when i was younger because basically me and one of my friends played them and like nobody else no who would uh <laughs> The internet wasn't fast enough back then. Or, well, we didn't have fast enough internet to, like, distribute them to anyone else. It's, oops. Oh, that's the wrong kind of thing. These these um, factory blocks look amazing. They're brilliant for making, like, factory machines. Yeah, very uninhibited. Like, uh... Oh... I love that kind of cringe. I know one of my friends organises something. She lives in London and um, they do some sort of diary reading night she organises where like people read their teenage diaries in front of everyone. And basically she did one over here once that uh, I was at. It was at, well, she I was at a drama summer camp thing with her and she like basically as like a showcasey thing, she read her teenage diary out for everyone. And it was amazing. It was just so uh, unintentionally hilarious. Okay. So, need more machines over here. I need more of these leadstone things. Do they lose power over distance or anything? That's all I'd worry about. I don't think they do. So if I can make a lot of them and, yeah, connect them over here. So we want all of our, like, um, smeltable materials to go into furnaces. I think we're going to put a lot of furnaces, not along here. They'll have to go one brick out, maybe along here. One for each kind of metal. And then all the stuff from them will get pumped below into a redstone furnace. So we're going to need a lot of them. And then they'll come back and come out to a chest somewhere else maybe over here or no we should probably sort them a bit better well we can just have one big chest for now uh just here and yeah that, that would be good or along here maybe along this side of the machine this this front end can be like the junk stuff and then the important stuff will come out over here and we've got all of this factory floor to work with. So the machine can like be big. We can do all kinds of crap with it. So if I sit, but say hypothetically, I'm going to uh, make myself some things. Pulverizers. I'm going to need some machine frames. Okay, let's start off with this. I'm going to need machine frames. Let's say we're going to need iron, gold, copper. I think we'll start with six. So we need six tin gears. How much tin do I have? Um, actually, let's see how much tin I have. That'll decide how many we're going to build. Ten tin. Okay, so we can make two. Um, unless I can find a lot more tin somewhere. Do we have tin in here, actually? No, we don't. I haven't been putting as much stuff in here 
these days. Um, okay, well, well, we'll make two. I think that's fair enough. Um, and we can sort of automate construction from these things as well, I think, eventually. Um, we need four of these and we need eight iron. We've got six. This is a very construction heavy uh, stream tonight, but it's good. It's like science heavy, science construction. While we wait for the jetpack to charge up, we will fly the jetpack at some stage tonight. It's just um, taking a while. I haven't checked up on it actually. Maybe it's charged. I don't think so. At the rate it was filling up. And it's probably going to like burn through all the power instantaneously. Like it was very cheap to build. I don't think it's going to be the most fantastic jetpack in the world. Um, well, it'll be our jetpack. That, that'll make it fantastic in its own right. Okay, so two of these. That's great. I need eight copper gears. Sorry. No, four copper gears. What am I saying? Eight. Um, my copper is in the other chest. And it's sun sunset. So I'll get it in the morning. will be good. I'm very excited for what we're building here. I wonder could we put the quarry underneath the factory? I mean it would be a little dangerous if we accidentally knocked through the floor and ended up in a quarry but it would be really easy for like shipping items up into this crate. We wouldn't have to worry about any kind of like long long distance transport or anything. Um Okay, so I needed something like this. Yes, perfect. And four flint. I need two pistons and redstone reception coils. Okay, well, what do I need for pistons? I need four cobblestone. Did I just take a stack? Ah. Well, a stack will do. It's fine. Sure, you can't go wrong taking too much. It's taking too little where you're going to have problems. Okay, so... Yeah, I wanted... Oh God, I needed at least another one. Do I have enough for two? Yeah, I do. Great. Okay. The uh, redstone coils. Oh no, they go like this. And the other final thing, the flint, which I know we have tons of. Basically swimming in flint. Can I make it? I can make brilliant. My two pulverizers are ready. And we're going to have to power them. They'll go over here. Um, we're going to run the power under the floor. But the pulverizers go on top. So we can have one there and one here. I know they look a little bit nonsensical at the moment, just floating there, but uh, it's temporary. Nothing comes out the sides. Everything comes out the bottom. I think that's the sort of setting we want for them. And below we will have our redstone furnaces and then, you know, a way to carry everything back into back to the other side what was it were they called redstone flux ducts Hang on. 
leadstone flux ducts that we lit. Uh, need a lot of glass for those. God, it's always about glass. It's a real sort of limiting thing. Let's just smelt up all the sand. Oh, sand as well. I should probably have in a junk barrel. Um. Well, I'll, I'll put it somewhere else. We can pro put more junk barrels somewhere else. Like maybe on the level above. Yeah, I think that would work. Like this little lip up here. I'm not sure why I put it in there. It just to look cool, but we'll find a use for it. The jetpack grand finale. Oh yeah. Well, oh no, it's charged now. We can we can take it for a flight. No need to save it for the finale. Let's um take to the skies. How do I fly? Oh. Okay, when I stop flying, I just seem to drop really, really fast. So that could be kind of dangerous. Yeah. Oh, yeah. See? Take an awful lot of damage. Um, well, no, I didn't take anything there. But I need some sort of, like, featherfall boots or something. Something to make it not damage me when I fall. Uh a parachute maybe but yeah this is good I'm able to fly now um god i barely used any of the power but i already feel obliged to charge it up just in case um let's stick it in temporarily we'll take it for a proper spin later uh Okay, what was my thing? The that ah, the flux ducts. Okay, so we've got our glass. We need our lead, which of which there is plenty back here, I think. I think I left the lead in this chest because I've got no consistency to where I leave these things. And uh redstone, of course. And then we just make a million of these and connect them up to the power grid under the floor uh, yeah like this i think we can do like half tiles and stuff later on that will let us, um, you know, we it'll it'll save us space when we're um, laying these things. But for now, we don't have them. I think I need to make a saw, and the saw is quite expensive in this pack. Or else I was looking at the wrong one. I don't think we figured out which was the which was correct. Um, okay. So this is what we want. Oh no, I'm stuck. Oh, I want to be trapped in here because I can't jump up here. This is exactly the kind of situation my trusty jetpack would have been useful for. Well, it's probably charged again. I'm, go I'm just going to wear it from now on because seems handy ah yeah there we go okay so this is powered which means i think this one no the power doesn't go through them like that so we also need to wire the back of them like this which is okay so one two three four five six yeah we can get six along here You missed a bit. Oh, don't worry. It's not too much. We're just wiring up some new machines uh, along here. We're getting some pulverizers so we can filter our ore to go right into all these pulverizers and then smelt some ingots that will then be, they'll all be fed back out of the machine into our output. And everything should be great. I hope. 
Um, we need the redstone furnaces. Which, oh, we're going to need more tin for. This is where we hit, always hit our uh, snags, where we need to go get more resources. Is that just regular dirt? No, that's regular dirt. That can go in there. Also, these weird carved blocks. I don't know what we're going to do with them. We should have a miscellaneous output here. Everything that doesn't get sorted comes out into, like, miscellaneous output. That's a good idea. Um, I'll just throw this down over here. And basically, at the end of this, if something hasn't gone into anywhere else, it'll just drop into this chest. And we'll know everything in there is, you know, crap we haven't sorted yet. Oh, yeah. This is going quite well. Um, so I want to throw that in there because that is miscellaneous. I wonder what this chainsaw does. I'm going to put it in my tool chest. I don't think I need it right now. We need tin right now and I don't think a chainsaw will help me get some tin. Um, oh and my armor. Is armor a tool? I think we said it was. Machine chest can take all of these things. Oh, actually, I should eat this apple before I go on to the good stuff. Now, the apple does nothing. It's getting dark out as well. Okay, I'll wait until morning and get some tin. Oh, I forgot my cheesecakes. I should have eaten those. My little cooker over here. My steaks. I've actually got loads of food. Um, yeah, just a bit, of, a bit of a quick snooze. Okay, let's get over to the old... Thingy, quarry. We're gonna have to charge it up, I think. Yeah, there's no. Oh, there is a little bit of tin. But um, we need to go get some more lava for it. Because I don't think this tin is enough. Um, and the quarry is our best chance to get more. So let's fly to our volcano, actually. Now that we can do that. No longer bound by the rules of the ground. We're off to adventure in the sky. Oh, I, I am going to die flying this jetpack. This is so dangerous. I need something that will stop fall damage. I think you can get an enchantment for that or something. Maybe that's what I need. I think every time I jump while I'm wearing this thing, it uses jetpack charge, which isn't great, but, uh... Oh, it, it charges up for ages. Look, my fuel is... Oh, there's a mode. Hang on. I can switch between engine and hover. I think, well, engine is probably better, because I would say hover probably burns through fuel quite quickly. We'll see. I have to look up how to change modes. Uh, controls. Hang on, what mod is it from? Simply jetpacks, okay. Controls. Toggle jetpack is X. Okay, maybe... No. Um, I 
Maybe if I set it to control and X. No, control, oh God, uh, shift and X. Why is every key taken? Um, oh, is this from advanced rocketry? Looking for mode, maybe. Toggle hover mode is L. Okay, maybe that, maybe that'll work. What else uses L? Show conflicts. Okay, let's see what happens if I press L. Level up skills activated or deactivated. Oh my God. Oh no, you're isolating? Oh, and Arleth, hello, how are you? Welcome. Candlecast is isolating, that's not good. Um, hope, yeah, hope you're doing okay. That can be, I imagine that can be pretty tough. Uh, if I just show all the conflicts, everything is a conflict. So we're gonna to have to go through these one at a time, but we'll go for hover. Our hover mode is going to be control and L. Is that okay? No. No. Um God. What what key? Subtract. Okay, that's good. So Oh, this is good. Yeah, it does I think it does burn fuel quicker, but I don't fall when I do that. I'll just have to remember to turn it off when I'm not using it, but um What was I doing back here? Oh, yes. The old lava bucket. Get some more uh, materials going. And then back at the sunglasses factory. I can, what was I doing? I can smelt my tin. Oh, in here. Oh, there's already some pulverized lead taking up a lot of space. So will this sit until there's room below? Or does it just pump out? Okay, it waits. So the machine can get a little bit backed up, but eventually it'll all go through. That's fine. Um, let's get to work on this. Oh, I left all my pipes in the machine chest. Unfortunately. Uh, yeah, I think I need... Take some regular stone ones as well. Did I see, what other machines do I have in here? I have, oh, I have an extra pulverizer. Completely forgot that existed. So we have a third one. So we can also uh, pulverize here. So blue comes in. Everything goes out. Yeah. And then um, get our tin over here. Make a few. Well, we can only make one tin gear, but it's something. Um, we don't even have enough glass. Oh, this is such a pain. Well, let's see what we can do. We'll do if we can for now. Okay, so this joint is going to be where all the um, things, the uh, ores, 
sort of filter off. And they're going to go up along here. We're going to need a, lo a lot of diamond ones on top to get them all into the, re the uh, relevant machine. Do we even need to do that? Does it matter what machine they go into? Because they will just back up if they can't fit in, surely. No, we'll do, we'll do the diamond thing. We'll be safe with this. What's the project at the moment? In in Minecraft, uh, we're building a sorting machine that will... A sorting and smelting machine. So the idea is we'll drop all of our stuff into this chest. It'll sort out all the junk into these barrels. And then it will uh, get all the ores sorted into these smelters, these uh, pulverizers, smelt them and pump the finished ones into chests along here. And everything that's left over, all the junk, will go into this thing over here. For now. We might, we'll come up with a more complicated way to deal with the, you know, miscellaneous later. But for now, that's the, that's the plan. Uh, so, yeah, I needed glass, um, which requires sand, which is fine. Also, we built a jetpack today, so... Hooray. Um, let's turn it into hover mode. We're going to go looking for some sand. And I don't know where we're going to find it. In the quantity we need. I'm going to turn off hover mode because we're going to save fuel doing it this way going to be efficient for a while. Is that a little church there? Yeah, it's some sort of man-made structure. Oh no, that's the big head. The big head statue from Easter Island. Oh, look, what's his eye made of? Is that just wool? I think it is. Something else over here, some kind of weird ruiny thing. I wish we could manufacture sand somehow. That would be a lifesaver. There's a little bit down there. I'm not sure if that's enough. You know what? I'm going to keep going this way. Maybe we'll find something over here. I mean, a desert would be the optimal solution. But look, ah, there's, it looks like there's a good bit over here. Is that a... Oh my god, that guy is shooting at me. Well, it's a good thing I have this jetpack now. It's already paying for itself. In the old days, he would have killed me. Now we've made it safely to the promised land of sand. The promised sand. Oh, this is a lot, actually. It doesn't look like much, but you kind of have to remember, a stack of sand is just 4x4x4 four by four by four bricks. So you get a lot more than you'd think from a little deposit like this. So we need an awful lot of tin as well. There has to be a way to get tin, a more um, efficient way than just having to dig it up. Weird floaty flowers bugging me. Like, I don't know, I wonder can we manufacture it somehow? No, do you know what it is? We need to uh, find a way to get our quarry solar powered. Then we won't have to worry about anything. Oh, I think it's starting to get dark. Time to fly home. Oh, that was brilliant. That was so profitable. The jetpack is amazing. 
this is a real game changer. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> Froze for a second. That is a one danger. What the hell is that thing? That's very mystical. Oh, I think there's something dangerous underneath it. I'll just leave it for now. We know where it is if we ever want to come back and get murdered by something mysterious. Oh no, it's properly dark. Oh, we're going to get dragged off into that horrible portal and murdered again. I just know it. I wonder are there shaders with this pack that we could turn on or dynamic lighting or anything. I know you can do that with some mods. I don't know if it would just slow everything down so that it's essentially unplayable though. I can't even see my landing zone. I'm definitely going to need hover mode for this. Okay, here we go. Coming in. Coming in to land, everybody. Oh, there's that evil portal. It's near the factory. Gonna have to be careful. Okay. Ah, phew. Okay, I could hear something. I could see particles for something. I don't know what it was. Maybe it was nothing. Maybe it was the thing that drags you into the portal. I don't know. I see Humphreys running about. I just saw his nameplate moving around. Um, okay, sand. We've got a, a load of sand. So we should have a load of glass then. But I'll store ex excess sand in there. I just want to get rid of all this stuff. I don't like having a stack and a bit. Oh, and I somehow picked up that thing, which I don't want. Hey, Clubble, hello, how are you? You were here already, weren't you? Hello, hey, just N. My name is Connor, not Justin. <laughs> oh, you're back from making your tea. Oh, cool. Have you missed anything? Um, not really. Just jetpack flying. Um, yeah, haven't got our tin yet, but we'll get there. Oh, I'm kind of tempted to take this jetpack for a spin in the Nether. I'm going to I'm going to need better armor though. Um What is that? There's something over here. Did something explode? I know it's only been a few seconds, but any tin would be helpful. No, none none yet. I can't even see how deep that's going right now. I wonder. pitch black here this might be a bad idea but just to see what this quarry is like oh my god oh god there's something dangerous down there but yeah we've actually gone pretty deep with this thing I'm not sure I put, should have put torches in it. I think that might actually break it. I'm going to... Oh, no. I'm sure it'll be fine, actually. They'll, they'll figure it out. But, yeah. The quarry has gone a lot deeper than I thought it had. Um, I'm not sure we'll find much tin that deep. Well, we'll see. Oh, yeah. It's mining up my torches just to return them to me. So that's good. And what are all these extra bits? Over at the end. Oh, right, yeah, because it spits out the waste at the other end. That's the way I set it up. Okay, that that is fine. Yeah, I don't need to wait for all my torches. Um, okay, so what I would really like is some sort of transport emobob. 
to transfer things from the quarry over here. I'm going to take off my jetpack because I'm not flying at the moment. I'm not going to be flying anywhere. Um, no, I'll leave it on. It, it's handy enough for construction. Okay, so can we make an ender chest in this? We can, which is amazing. Okay, we need blaze rods though. And an ender pearl. Okay, uh, what other transporty things can we make? Maybe there's something in the old science tree for that. Latex processing, no. An infinity drill. Now that sounds pretty amazing, but I don't think it's what we need. Um, I need something that can like basically trans transfer all our stuff from the quarry into here. I think an ender chest is kind of what I need, unfortunately. So that's going to be dangerous. Um, we need to kill some endermen and I haven't seen any this game. Perhaps strangely, perhaps not. Maybe they're rarer or something. Um, can I get a few of these? I want to make some more factory blocks. Um, oh, I'll have to make stone the old-fashioned way. That machine is too busy. Um, in here. Yes. And my diamonds as well. I've still got... I've only got two diamonds. But... Uh, well, I need the transport pipes. I'm not using them for anything else. So... Here we go. Well, we can always get more diamonds. The quarry is going to get a few diamonds, I'm sure. So yeah, they'll go across like that. I want to keep these pipes here, actually, because I always need them when I'm in here. I don't need them in the house. Um... We just have to hope that monsters don't spawn inside this machine. Can I make computers in this mod pack? I think I can, yeah. Um, but they're very difficult to make. It's a very hard mod pack. So I don't think I can make them soon. I think we need to go to the... We need... We need uh, not quartz. Osmium. Which doesn't spawn in like normal dimensions. I think we have to go somewhere weird. a regular old factory block please thank you and i think yeah we were using these ones so where was it if we go for oh, oh god what did i do i clicked somewhere wrong if we want to make some if we want to find osmium we find it in the beneath which uh, we haven't been to yet. And given how uh, the nether went for us, I'm, I'm in no hurry to find out what horrors the beneath holds. Okay, so we're going to have the machine, we're going to do stuff along here. So this will be the side of the machine and then there'll be lots of stuff in here. And um, oh, brilliant, I love this jetpack. We're going to have some barrels up here as well. I haven't decided how we're going to connect those. Maybe like this. Yeah. I think put one there. transport pipes so this one here we can have the cobble pipe into and the other one we can have the uh, other pipe into the stone pipe I don't know what will be in these ones yet um, a material we haven't found yet sand and gravel maybe and then behind them, of course,
course, we're going to have the big row of all of this stuff. So yeah, that, that looks really good, I think. There, yeah, that's nice. I don't know, should we put a torch up here? Just so monsters, we don't want a creeper spawning on top of the machine. Maybe we need one over there as well. I don't know. Just to keep the place uh, relatively secure while we're under construction. All these torches can go eventually and we'll put in um, electric lights or something. It does, what, The Beneath? I think, I'm pretty sure there is a horror movie called The Beneath. Or if there isn't, they should make one. Um. Oh, yeah. I'm really enjoying making this factory. This is, like, fantastic. And we can use the different kinds of chest along here. We can exploit that to make sure, um, you know, we can put them all right next to each other, which will, will be brilliant. Um, oh, we have all our glass. So uh, I wanted to make a redstone furnace. So I needed one of these. Sorry, I needed one of these. No, we don't have enough iron. Oh no, and we are running out of iron back at the old uh, house. Don't need to do a lot of mining. I don't know if it's a problem for today or a problem for tomorrow. We'll figure that out. Maybe, maybe I... We've only got one ingot of iron left in here. Not a lot in here either. Okay. Oh, we've got four tin in there now. I didn't know we had some tin already. I think we're going to have to fix up the old hammer and go back into the caves again. Oh, I don't have the old hammer anymore. Of course, we lost that. Urgh. Not good. Um, hang on. Let's dump these somewhere. The basalt. Okay, the, we're going to have to make a new hammer. Um, I wonder. I'm so tempted to go to back to the nether with the jetpack and mine some crazy stuff. It's going to be a bad idea. I shouldn't. But um, what, what alloys do we have here? Like bronze. How does bronze work as for a hammer? We need the materials and you book. Wherever it is. Tome of knowledge, ancient tome. It's one of these. The industrial foraging manual. Quest book. Oh, I don't know where I put it. It was that book that can change into all the books. Um, I know I threw it in a chest last time saying, oh yeah, I'll just put this here and remember where it is. And now I obviously have not. Um, or else I'm just blindly missing it again. We can make a new one. There is a way to make it. I just. Oh no, I think this, I think this might be it. No, that's the industrial foraging manual. We don't need that. Um, the Akatosh tome, that was it. How do we make a new one? wasn't the Akatosh tome. 
Akashic Tome. It's just a stick. Okay. Well, it's a bit of a pain to have to make it this way, but... Oh, wait. Hang on. Generally, you should take the book after you've crafted it. Okay, so we wanted to make it into materials and you. And then we can read it and see what materials we need to make our tools. Um, we want a, something for a hammer that will... I mean, we want good durability, I suppose. That's a, an important thing. I wish we could sort them somehow. Dark steel. Mining level cobalt. Oh, we saw cobalt in the nether. How do I make dark steel? Because I can make steel. An arc furnace made out of iron with pulverized coal and obsidian. Okay, we make it from steel and obsidian and we can make dark steel. Okay, yeah, that's pretty good. I think, do we have some obsidian lying around? I don't think so, but I know there's some in the cave. Can this mine obsidian? I don't think it can. Um, what can mine obsidian? Diamond pickaxe. We lost our diamond pickaxe. Oh God, we've got seven diamond transport pipes already. Um, I should have known that. Okay, something that can mine obsidian. Yeah, we're, we're, we're talking diamonds here, I suppose. To even get to the dark steel. Which will let us get to, like, the next thing we want. Which is the cobalt. Which I think can be used in ores. How does... How does old bronze do bronze can mine diamond okay so uh, it's all right steel mines obsidian okay we have steel don't we yeah we have some steel so what we need to do is we need to smelt some steel in here Yeah, let's just smelt all of it. And for a hammer, uh, we need... Where is the hammer? I think the hammer head is what determines um, the mining level. So we're going to need to get a hammer head mold. All our steel, cool. Please be enough. I don't know how much the hammerhead takes. I think it's a lot. I'm not sure that's enough. No, we need more steel. Okay, well, we need to make steel, we need iron, and we need charcoal. Oh, I can't get the iron out. Uh, Okay, hopefully one ingot will be enough. Um, where do we get charcoal? Wood. We burn uh, trees. We don't have the kind of wood we need. Okay. So we're going to have to cut something down to make charcoal. Uh, what are these? Look at the berries up here. Bull pine leaves. Okay. Oh, these are our pines. I remember I wanted them so badly just to finish that stairs. Right, we don't really need them now. I suppose they're they're all right to have. They're nice enough trees. It's a it's a nice wood to work with. So we're going to make all of this into charcoal. Actually, is there already coal in any of these? No. Okay. Short answer. Um, yeah, 
this is this will be fine. <clears throat> of course, we need like ten million charcoal per ink per iron ingot to make this where is my iron ingot I did have one didn't I I've got pulverized iron okay well I can make two ingots out of that I think that should be okay Oh god, I'm moving really quickly. I don't know why. Okie doke. Two of those. Let's hope I was exaggerating when I said you need 10 million charcoal per bar. I hope it's only three. But we will see. I have a feeling it's more than three. No, it's more than three. I'll take one of these out. We don't want to waste it. Oh, no, no. I think maybe three. Three seems about right, to be honest. And I, I only think I need one anyway to finish off that hammerhead. Of course, the problem is going to be repairing the hammerhead now. We're going to need to use um, steel, which isn't the most plentiful resource. Oh no, it's more than three. I think it's, oh no, it's exactly three. That was, well, that was tense. Okay, so let's melt this in and get our hammer head. We'll make the rest of the hammer out of more common materials. Like Invar. Invar is good. Uh, Invar, I think, does a lot for durability. This isn't even in, like, alphabetical order or anything. This is what's annoying about it. It's just in no particular order. And there's no way to, like, search it. Invar doesn't give much durability at all, actually. Plastic does. 113. That, that's okay. Plastic seems very durable. I think we, we need to do a plastic handle. We've got the materials for that. Oh yeah, here we go. This is our hammerhead. Um, we have, where is it? It's in our sticky stuff, isn't it? How do we make plastic? I think you just cook rubber. But I couldn't tell you. Maybe you plastic. You smelt dry rubber. How do we get dry rubber? Do we just make it from regular rubber? Let's see what happens if we just cook rubber. Oh, I better sleep. Because I am pretty certain we will get plastic. No? Okay, we can't cook rubber. Um, hmm. Let's go back through that then. Plastic is got by smelting dry rubber. Dry rubber is crafted by making tiny dry rubber. Ah, the latex processing unit, which we have, I think. No, we have an extractor. And a tree fluid extractor. We need our latex processing unit. Oh, this is also interconnected. Is that one of our quests? I think it is. Um, it's down here. Isn't it? Or is it up here? 
I know we had to build it as part of something. Oh, I don't even remember which it is. I just, I know we have to build it. I want to avoid having to make two of them, but um, it's fine. Okay, we need four iron and iron gear. Okay, we need a lot of iron, which we don't have, but we can get furnace steel casing. Okay, we're going to need a lot of steel, which we don't have, but we can get uh, redstone furnaces. Yeah, we can, we can build this. It's funny because the whole idea the whole idea behind what we were doing was to build a hammer to go mining, but the things we need we have to mine without the hammer now. This is the ultimate like Minecraft dilemma, I think. I seem to remember there being plenty of visible materials down here though. Where's my torches? sword just to have it handy um like there's some iron a lot of coal as well i think coal is handy to have and we level up by collecting it which is good what the hell is that Sort of mushroom. Oh yeah. I knew we had quite a few resources down this tunnel. There's also like this dungeon here, which is a little worrying. Is that the one that is in our quarry, I wonder? I don't think it is. This bauxite, I thought it was iron. Yeah, it's just bauxite. It's not going to hurt to have some this gold yeah gold as well it's handy to have we don't need it we've got a billion gold um i'm not sure this is at all useful right now but might as well take some for later okay i'm not going to go exploring the dark cave yet uh we've got other places we haven't looked yet oh that's what's messing up my view of the ore the jetpack thing is like right on top of where it normally is i was wondering i thought it wasn't this hard to check the type of ore last time wait what something happened there i looked away from the have i got some disease I'm, I've got blindness. How do I have blindness? Did someone blind me? Or something? Is there like a, an evil creature down here? And I'm poisoned as well. Let's can't eat some honey soy ribs. Okay. I looked away from the screen for the second that happened. This is iron ore. Okay, that's what we need. So I was very confused. The gold as well. Why not? going yeah down here i'm sure i'll find a bit more is that nickel no no nickel i've probably got enough how much iron have i picked up five so that's ten iron ore one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven tw oh no we need twelve I've got one in the furnace as well. So I think if I can find one more, I might be all right. But I know there's iron on the edges of these tunnels that I just ignored because I was being lazy. If I just um, keep an eye out. No. 
I've not a bit of it yet. Oh, no. That is bauxite. Yeah. I wish I could move that uh, jetpack thing maybe to the like bottom of the screen or something. Maybe there's a way to arrange the UI. Okay, no. Not, not playing with lava. Let's see. Mod options. No. Or, well, maybe. Uh, jet packs. Simply jet packs. <sighs> no, there's not really any options there. Or, wait. There was a config down here. Um, GUI settings. Fuel HUD. Um, HUD base position, base offset. Uh, why? Let's move it. I don't know. What's my screen resolution? Let's go for. Set it to a thousand and just see what happens. Nothing at all happens. Okay, so uh, may maybe when I restart the mod, ne like tomorrow night I'll be playing and it'll just be in the middle of the screen or something and very distracting. But uh, for now, we'll just deal with it where it is. Oh, maybe I should go check the quarry. That The quarry's probably got iron in it at this stage. I just... Um, I want I want to just find some lying around. I don't want the effort of going to the quarry like oh god. Well, maybe I can have a look in here. Quite a few ravens. What are they all doing in a cave? Are they the ones who cursed me, I wonder? And made me blind. Okay, here we are. It, like pecked my eyes out or something what are you guys all doing in here is there like a passage to the roof they didn't all just get lost in here or something did they ravens don't live in caves i mean maybe they do i don't i'm not a what is it an ornithologist but um I don't think ravens live in caves. They would be called cavens then. Because no one would be able to resist that pun. This is amazing for going up the stairs. Look at this. What a time saver. 78%. Ah, uh, I can go a little longer without charging. Um, yeah let's throw all our well we'll throw all our iron in here we can throw the gold in afterwards but it's iron we need for the moment to make um, the latex unit we can incorporate the latex unit into the machine actually that would be kind of cool That would be a fun idea. Oh yeah, we're, we're getting the iron very quickly. Um, okay, so for the steel casing, we need to cook four of that iron into steel. And what did we need in the middle? It was lead. No, sh Ugh. osmium. Oh, why didn't I pay attention? We don't, we can't get osmium. Oh no, we can do it with a machine frame. Or the machine chassis. Okay, that looks harder. Machine case. This is made of wood, redstone, and iron. Oh, well, that's doable as well. Okay. Oh, we need tin. Everything comes back to tin. Always need more tin. 
Um, I think we have enough tin for one gear, so I think we can just about make this latex machine. I definitely don't have it already, do I? No. Uh, yeah, okay. There's our one iron. Okay, so we can... Is that a tin gear? Oh, we already have a tin gear. Amazing. Okay, so we've got this. Now we need furnaces and rubbish and an iron gear. I haven't got enough iron for the gear, but um, yeah, we've got enough cobblestone for the furnaces. What is it? Just a redstone. That is fine. Oops, wrong thing. And hey, yeah, we're okay. So we pump our latex into this thing, make some rubber, and. Then we can make our hammer handle out of rubber to make it super durable. Or not rubber, plastic. And then, yeah, that should be fine. Um, iron gear. Need eight of those so that we can make this. That, that everything oh sorry this recipe brilliant latex processor okay and that can go over here somewhere i don't know i'm not sure where to put this um for now we need somewhere we can power it from so over here is as good a place as any um i left my power things in the other place having two houses is becoming a real inconvenience we might have to incorporate them together into like one building or something i don't know we need a we need a solution to this so we're not running back and forth i know you have to like separate your work life and your home life but um this is minecraft so it's not as important in this okay latex processing unit can go here and our machine that's full of latex oh hang on i want to make sure that Okay, it's fully powered. I don't know where to configure the inputs from. Maybe we can just use a bucket on the other machine. The um, tree fluid extractor. I think that was the one. Oh God, it's got no latex in it anymore. Okay, this is going to be a problem. Um, how will we do this? This is going to be very, very, very silly. So we want a tree fluid extractor here. And that is charged here. I'm not even sure this needs to be like charged. I think it just like extracts fluid. We've got a latex tank. Oh, we, hang on. We can extract into a bucket. And yeah, to get our rubber, we just have to go out here and cut down one of these trees, like this one. I knew this latex would come in useful somewhere. Did we get an achievement? We did. Okay, the oh there we go. The latex processing unit. We get a prize. We get another swarmer. Um, what does it do? Someone asked me to hover over it. Uh, not yet eaten. What does it taste like? But I couldn't eat it. Maybe we have to cook it first. Um, let me see. Can I? No, I definitely can't eat it. Okay, so this is the latex extractor, which can go there. And then I think we can just put our processing unit here. And if we put a bucket here, no? 
I don't think the fluid comes out of this properly. Um, in anything. Do we need like a capsule? Or something. Oh yeah, look, there's all kinds of capsules here. Let's see, latex. A latex can. We need to make a can which is made of three tin ingots. We've got four. Now it all makes sense. Well, a little bit. No? No, now this doesn't make sense. Where did my cans go? Oh, they're up there. Ah, they go in the top and then they come out the bottom. And then I put them in here. I don't know where it went. Oh, there's latex in here. Okay. So. We wanted to make dry rubber. Which we make from tiny dry rubber. Okay, yeah. Latex industrial processing unit. doesn't really tell me much does it okay so this should fill up cans as it gets ready and the cans go in here maybe there's just not enough maybe that's it um or maybe is it outputting them into something that i don't realize um i don't want it outputting at all So no, you're not going to output anything. Oh yeah, it uses them up and fills this. And it needs water as well. Okay. Okay, I, I'm figuring out these complicated machines gradually. Oh God, it's nearly time to finish up. Um, well, let's, let's see if we can finish on um, manufacturing our rubber. Because I think we're just about there. If we get some rubber, I will be very happy. And look, oh, it's gradually breaking that block. That's what happened before. So now, brilliant. Okay, we've got a tiny dry rubber and we need like nine of them. Oh God, and they all need water. So, hmm. Okay, now all of our machines are starting to make sense. Okay, so we, I'll get rid of this machine for a second. Um, I'm going to get the other one. The, where's the aqueous accumulator? Okay. This is going to be weird, but I think it's how we're going to have to do this. I'll, I'll dig it up here. Uh, it's temporary. Don't worry. We won't be permanently destroying the factory with and landscape with this rubbish. But I just want to uh, get it to work quickly. Like this is this is bad, a bad procedure. I'm bypassing my um, thing. I, I'm bypassing my own electric supply here to make this work. But I think you know, just just for the sake of having something working today, this will this will do. So the aqueous accumulator will get water in from both sides. The latex processing unit will sit on top of it. 
and we'll fill up with all the water and then on a temporary basis at the very least we'll get its power from here so it'll make all of our rubber and it'll have infinite water and yeah, grass will grow back I guess this is so fiddly but I love it okay we've got three of these which is fine so that's what like one more thing yeah there we go oh no it's it's given us quite a few oh the water was the limiting factor before not the um other thing not the latex perfect okay so we've got nine of these which we can now smush together into this maybe we should wait for more maybe i need more than one uh plastic sheet we'll see okay let's try two this is just to make our hammer handle we still haven't made the rest of the hammer but um it'll give us a nice durable handle anyway so yeah we've got two sheets of plastic there okay we're gonna we're gonna have to set up some proper like latex facility there that's really cool um that whole latex making thing uh what does the hammer use tough tool rod okay tough tool rod and we're going to make it out of that's not enough okay we need to make more plastic This hammer should last for years now, I, I hope. Okay, we seem to have exhausted what we can get from there for now. Um, I think four should be enough anyway. And then, oh yeah, my gold can go through this whole thing as well so let's see will this work material value one plastic how much oh god it needs three plastic okay well Mm. I'm not sure what we can do then. Oh, does this thing output my empty cans? Because I'd like to be able to reuse them. It doesn't. That is a little bit crap. Okay, so the cans get used up. So that is a pain. And we're out of latex here. Okay. Oh, this is going to be a pain. Okay, well, I thought we might be able to finish this for this evening, but I don't think it's looking that way anymore. Um, it's probably going to be a job for tomorrow night to finish this whole latex system. But um, yeah, it's going well. We've laid the groundworks for a giant machine anyway, so this, and got our jetpack built. So this has been a very productive stream. Um, if you've enjoyed it and you want to... Uh, watch it again then check out my youtube channel ninja connor 86 where all my streams are archived uh if you're already watching on youtube and want to catch it live next time then check out twitch.tv slash ninja connor on a either a sunday or monday evening uh, that's all for tonight until next time goodbye <laughs>